Greetings everyone. Beautiful to come to you today. Well, I just want to share all the gratitude I feel in my heart for all of you and for all of the collaborations that we've been able to share, joining with the Spirit, shining, sharing all over the world in all kinds of ways and places, with, uh, retreats and online retreats and in-person retreats and gatherings and sessions and counseling and oh it's just been been fantastic and yeah I just have such gratitude to the Holy Spirit and Jesus for leading the way and providing everything arranging time and space for the miracle and the joy that comes through so it's just beautiful it feels like uh, I've had a real restful time here uh, in the winter and a uh, nice boost of joy from from that rest from that inner rest and just been enjoying my experience down here in Mexico had a beautiful spontaneous encounter at lunch down at the mall uh, at the edge of Ajijica and it's just uh, it was just so much joy. We had the songs serenading us and giving us messages through the the speaker right above our head and at the food court there at the mall. And yeah, so beautiful to meet friends that I hadn't seen for a while and uh, friends from traveling from California and Germany. And yeah, just a beautiful, spontaneous gathering. So... Yeah, I'm enjoying this restful time here in Mexico and getting ready to uh, fly in February. Around February 7th, I'll fly across to Cancun and and uh, do a weekend gathering on the 8th and 9th of February at Playa del Carmen, right on the, the coast there of the Gulf. And uh, actually, we're in a beautiful setting uh, out there on the edge of the jungle with green surrounding us so that's going to be really beautiful with with of course teaching in English and Svava singing some of her songs in English with all with Spanish translations by Andrea and Alejandro and yeah really look forward to to that little burst coming up in the early part of February then a little more rest time and meditative time down here, uh, different things and functions, kind of more internal that I need to attend to in February. And then actually uh, we have an online retreat coming the first full weekend of March, so I look forward to being a part of that. And now the way things are shaping up, we have a little bit of a feel that uh, we could be traveling uh, there at the very end of March, maybe into the the early part of April through through Easter and possibly heading down towards Brazil and waiting to see how that all works out with the flights and and everything but um, yeah still still in the stages of of the planning and communications around that and then Actually, May looks like a, a tour of East Coast United States with uh, the New York City area, CRS. Uh, just beautiful people up there, Yasko and Chris, and the whole gang up there in New York City. Look forward to coming there. I haven't been there ever in my, uh, my lifetime, and, and certainly I've been to New York City in... Uh, yeah, collaborated with John Mundy and done a number of uh, things over the years, but not to CRS. So very excited about going there to CRS the first weekend in May. We'll also be broadcasting from CRS, so we will have our uh, online retreat, uh, which is very global, uh, broadcast in there. So we'll be able to field questions from the New York City audience as well as the global audience on that first weekend. And then there's other retreats planned that will be both in person and online. 
in May. So uh, we will be coming up to Ann Arbor, Michigan, it looks like. Uh, also going to St. Augustine, Orlando, both of them in Florida. And uh, looks like it's planning stages to head to Minneapolis, Minnesota there too at the very end of May and uh, arrived back uh, at the very beginning to our little peace house in Cincinnati for several days of rest in uh, the beginning of June. So after that, it's kind of exciting. Uh, Slava, Francis, myself are scheduled to fly across from Cincinnati to Reno, Nevada around uh, the 6th of June and join with Jeffrey Kosker and his beautiful wife Susanna and then the five of us will take a road trip starting off from Reno, Nevada and working our way across the state of California from from Reno and down uh, towards the San Diego area and and then we will work our way up the coast through Los Angeles uh, up through the Bay Area and at this point maybe up towards Ashland, Oregon and maybe up towards um, Seattle as well. So uh, way up there in Washington in the corner of the country. So so it's kind of a, a whoosh of a first six months of the year. And then there could be um, a spontaneous little trip in there to uh, to Denver, Colorado in July or August, but, but mainly we have the, our large event in the United States, our annual event, Awakening to Love, is coming August 3rd to the 9th. So that's beautiful too. If you have a chance, the early bird special is just coming to a close, so if you see this and you want to get in and under the wire with the early bird special for that, that's beautiful too. It's going to be beautiful. There'll be some campsites, some private spaces available, and uh, all in all, beautiful to be there in uh, the Strawberry River Canyon in summertime in early August. It's just gorgeous. We had an event there, the same event, Awakening to Love, last summer, and it was just spectacular. People came from all over the world, actually. We had quite a few from from Japan as well as different parts of the world. And so we're very excited about that event. And already people are signing up. There's 21 signups, I believe, for uh, the early bird already for that event. So it's really cooking. And for myself, it looks like uh, around mid-September, I will be uh, flying over to Barcelona, Spain, and I plan to do a, a weekend retreat in Barcelona right after I uh, land and, and settle. So uh, I will be doing just a weekend retreat. I believe it's at, uh, at, a, at a spiritual center with, uh, run by nuns, so that's what's shaping up there. I also hope to do uh, like a book signing and a book talk generally for the public in Barcelona the Monday night following that weekend retreat. And it's, you know, I've done some beautiful events in Barcelona. I love the people and the warm hearts. And uh, yeah, it's a very cosmopolitan, uh, beautiful vibe in Barcelona. So I have friends there too that I have not met yet that I have uh, had the pleasure of communicating with, and so uh, there's a number of them that are there, so I really look forward to that. Then fly over to our center in Samasia, the island of Mallorca, for uh, a little quiet meditation there before flying on to uh, the Netherlands for the Into the Kingdom retreat that's coming up in early October. So for all my friends and all the beloveds over in Europe, yeah, that's that's where I'll be, Barcelona, uh, and then off to the the castle in southern Holland, and I'll be able to be there for that amazing week. And 
I think we'll have uh, two or three hundred people there this year. It just feels like we we're just building on the vibe from last year. And last year was a quite a crowd for a whole week retreat. It was 180 people came there, but uh, we were dancing in the aisles. Uh, the first night after the first session, uh, we had some uh, George Harrison music and uh, John Lennon music going after we watched the movie yesterday. Some of you have seen that. Uh, it was quite, quite the heart-opening movie, so there was so much joy coming after that. So, I really feel grateful for the collaborations that are just part of this journey. Just meeting the people, seeing everyone, just all the hugs, all the love, all the laughter. It's just wonderful for me to go through and, and walk through this journey uh, with the Spirit's guidance and, and feel all of you with me and around me and just we're all walking hand in hand, arm in arm into the light. This is our awakening journey, awakening in the mind, awakening to the atonement, to complete forgiveness, rejoicing all the way and remembering the, the love and the oneness of God and how precious that is. So I, I hope to be using this forum here uh, while I'm down in Mexico to be sharing some beautiful expressions that I feel would come to me uh, during the days here and uh, using this format to, to share some of those expressions with you. So, yeah, thank you for walking with me. Thank you for being with me on this journey and all your love and for all your devotion. Blessings. <laughs>